second cast and uh, own it. safely on the water. Let me out. Oh, sh my pants there, Turner. Why? Oh, nothing. Too close to that tree for you? This is like the sweetest freaking camp ever. This is a fly-in. All right, safe travels, guys. Oh. Yo, what's going on guys? Chiefs here and today you are joining me at Wapizi Lake North Outpost that is a part of Pickerel Arm Camps where I have been spending the last three, four weeks here in Northwestern Ontario helping set up uh, the base camp and outpost for a fishing lodge. We're gonna be going on a little bit of a recon mission because one of the docks here has floated almost 30 minutes down the lake. I think on the way we're gonna do a little catch and cook. We're gonna try to see if we can catch some fish while we're towing this freaking dock back and we're gonna whip it up and have a nice little fish fry but we got a day ahead of us hope you guys enjoy we just left here i think we're about like right in front of this island right i think that's the island right there just gotta get around this oh man chase that looks pretty buried in there that is gonna be uh tough all right guys, so what's going on here is uh, we've got this giant chunk of dock right here that's beached itself, because last year we had extremely high water here. I guess it's mission failed guys, because Chase and I have basically jumped on this thing, pulled our, our motor on this. It's not even moving a single inch right now, so. I don't know if this dock is salvageable. Maybe if we came back with, I mean, it's gotta be higher water, I think, gotta right? Be higher water. Yeah. yeah. And it sucks because last year was like a high water event, and if there was a chance at retrieving this dock, it would have been last year. We're about to sat phone out right now and uh, see when our plane's coming, but I think we might just be skipping to the fun part today and going fishing. So. Feels nicer, actually. Oh, that's a perfect eater, dude. Dude, they're super shallow. That's a perfect eater. Oh, yes. Boom. Literally second cast, and uh, we got this beautiful walleye. We're gonna yeah, look at that. probably cook that one up. Probably should be like 15 inches. 15 and a half inch walleye. We could let him go for good luck, but we did drop him. What do you think, Chase? I'll let you decide. I say we keep him. Keep him? Oh. oh no. What was that? That's my GoPro. It's gone. Oh, I swear I got my GoPro's gone. Is it not right there? What? Is it floating? No, I meant like. No, it's good. Oh, yeah. It's, it's gone right there. My GoPro 11 is gone. Oh my god. I, I just bought it too. Brand new. Well, I will never use that mount again. Nice. Good walleye. Nice. You're not gonna boat flip that. Huh? You're not boat flipping that. I can totally boat flip that. Uh, all right. This is post dropping GoPro on the freaking lake. Depression. Yeah. Four, that. Yeah, 15. 15? Nice. Four, four, good eater. We got three good walleyes to eat. I'm gonna go cook these up on the shore, have a little shore lunch. Perfect, bunch of 15 inches, 15 and a half inches. Yeah. Second cast, and then it was just on after that. <laughs> uh, wait a it's not bad. 
Oh, perfect. Pretty good, right there. Yeah. Take that all day. Got a beautiful pile of fillets, and we got Chase finishing up his fish. Looking good. All right, Chase. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Oh, that's better. Yeah, see, I didn't have as much batter on it. I think I should have like gotten them a little more moist. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're just doing a basic little uh, original shore lunch here. I'm gonna try some of that catch and cook here shortly. I think they might be sending out some, we'll see. I'll definitely have to do some more of these catch and cooks like this, but currently sheltered by the rain. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's raining pretty decently out there right now and this, uh, this old cedar is kind of giving us some shelter here. It's kind of nice. But we got some onions in there. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Looks like she's still got a little bit. All right, we're gonna do a little taste impression. I just broke off a little piece here. We don't have the magic recipe, but we got some tartar sauce here. Dip it in, and we're gonna see how she is. Mm hmm That's bomb. <laughs> Even with the onions in it, like there's still enough of a light seasoning in the oil that it has like an oniony, fresh walleye taste. It's great. We forgot <laughs> forks, so we, we gotta go a little caveman today, but some I'm finger totally food. all right with it. <laughs> All right, Chase. What are your thoughts and impressions here? It's gonna be a clean plate. It's oh yeah. Awesome. Great show. You lunch. want some more tartar sauce? Okay. A little bit. Might need some. Ooh. Appreciate it. Cool. Tartar sauce wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. No, not too bad. It was fine. First, it just tastes really bad. Yeah, I don't know why, but. He's all right. Very successful short line. Out of 10, what do you rate? Maybe like a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10, right on. Sure. Yeah, we had three walleyes and a full onion and we're gonna make quick work of this for sure. But our flight's gonna be here in about an hour. So we gotta pack this up, get some gas jugs and then uh, we'll see whatever extra time we got to fish. But <clears throat> that's gonna be probably close to a wrap for us. Hopefully we can maybe get one or two more, but we'll see.